Hey, what's going on? It's me, Deja Vu, and you know we always have your favorite artist stopping by the show today. And I have been following this sister girl. Actually, I was following her mom and him way back in the day. She is uh, an amazing talent, and it's just a pleasure to have you here. We're talking about Kiera Sheard Kelly. Yay! Hey! Hey, sis, hey! <laughs> Listen, I am so excited to have you here. I talked to you. You know, I, I know you don't remember, but um, it was during the pandemic. Okay. And we did the, the whole Zoom thing. Everybody was in a whole yeah. tizzy back then. But I want to talk to you now about this new project. Yes. All yours? Yes. Come on now. I'm so excited about it. And thank you for the opportunity to chat with you. Of course. Um, your voice sounds amazing, by the way. Girl, you listen, we are real close. raspy. We, it we sounds play. great. We play. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm really excited about this record. It's called All Yours. And it's a body of work where I've been saying that this is our project. You got Anthony Brown. You got my, of course, my brother did the majority of the produ production, mm -hmm. Jadra Shear. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, Pastor Mike Jr. You got Ja'Kalen Carr. You got Molly Music. And it's just, just a great body of work, too. Then you have Jordan Armstrong. So you have some that you can be like, oh, yeah, that I'm see. You have some, too, that's like, hey, hey, hey. So it's a great balance. <laughs> I love it. I love it. From the, yes. from the talking in the times. So yes. Hey. <laughs> exactly. I love it. So I'm, I'm proud of this work. And um, I think I did some good singing on here, too. <laughs> First and foremost. Since you're always singing, okay? Thank I've you. I've been following you since, what, if God says go. Yes, thank <laughs> you. You and your mama going back and forth. Yes. But, um, when, was this birthed during the pandemic or was this like the latter parts of it? This is the latter part. So we did Praise in the Park in Atlanta. Okay. And we were we were out of, I mean, you, you know, some people You're back still outside. Think, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> some people still say we're in a pandemic, but we were outside in the park. It was thousands. She was of like, us. we're praising yes, and, and recording. Yeah, and it was thousands of people out there. Uh, the energy, You hear the energy, you hear the creativity, the artists that are on this project. Yes. We didn't have rehearsals. So, um, Wait a minute, really? Exactly, yes. And oh, that, that was amazing. So that's all spirit led. It really is just that. It's divine. So when you hear it with knowing that backstory, like, oh, y'all didn't do no rehearsals, the wow. chemistry, God being there, you're going to feel and hear all of that. Um, so to answer your question, though, was it, I, I don't know how, I don't know what you would say. I mean, but like, what, when did you do it? And what, what it, made you what write these it? songs? was October? What, of October? last year? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you did a quick turnaround. We did. Because I hear some people take, like, you know, they're all drawn out. Have you yes. had those moments, too, where you are so, spaced out with the songs? Or? I'm the kind of artist that's like, let's hurry up and get this out, mm, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and the way we did these, these songs, we were texting songs. So you got Anita Wilson. Um, you have so many great writers. What a gonna... creative way to get yes. your stuff going. Yes, we were texting songs. I was in, I, I was like, I got an idea. You ain't see nothing yet. So I was like, can you put a verse to this? So she put a verse to it. And it was that easy. That's so, dope. Yeah, it was good. That is so dope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you know, I, I love the miracles, of course. He been for a miracle. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank All you. the songs are really good. I had Thank the opportunity you. to get a little sneak peek. Thank sneak you. Sneak listen. Yes. Um, but where do you see this ministering to who do you who are you targeting with this so i'm targeting pretty much everybody mm -hmm. i don't like to say you know well, yeah close. i know you said I this know, a little I bit for everybody, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, i don't want to say but I it's, know. it's something for everyone yes yeah. it really is because Honestly, when we were doing All Yours, you had, like, your grandmothers and your aunts in there. Right. And when we sang All Yours and we started playing that Earth, Wind, and Fire groove to it, they was yes. like, ah, yes. you know. Yes. Um, and then when we did, um, what is it, um, Praise Through, mm -hmm. everybody went in. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the beauty of music and why we love it so much is that it's universal. And then when you put God in the mix, I think that it just... You know what I'm saying? Because we got our grandmothers now doing TikToks. They don't Girl, get yeah. on TikTok, but <laughs> we it's, it really can be a bridge if you allow it to be. Absolutely. Um, but I think it's something on it. But to, to, to speak to the ministerial part of it, I want people to know that if you give God yourself, it's so many songs on here. If you give God yourself, I'm, I promise you, he won't ever let you down. If you do it his way, so many times we do it our way. That's when it gets to be a headache. Right. Then you got a song in there called like, Wake Up, where I'm like, hey, you got to wake up. The, the Bible talks about how we've been blinded spiritually mm. and there are so many of us who have probably put some things on the back burner because it didn't take off the way we wanted it to and so I'm saying hey don't let that determine your future don't let your past hold you hostage wake up Come you on. seen the clip um, of when Bishop Jakes is like wake up yes. wake <laughs> up wake <laughs> up so you hear me singing that so I could go on and it's a great body where I think there's a song for every situation if you'll allow me to say it that you can find revelation in all of these songs 12 songs Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. One for every month of the, yeah. of the year. Okay. I love it. I love it. Let me ask you, do yes. you run it through your parents and your mom and your aunties first? 
That's a great question. <laughs> Definitely goes to my mom's ears. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes to my dad's ears, too, because he ain't going to move if it ain't good. Right. Uh, so my dad loves it. My mother loves it. If I'm doing too much screaming or if I'm not saying nothing, she's going to say, you ain't saying nothing, but you're really? saying it. <laughs> yes. But, so, that's, but you need that sometimes because you get people in your corner who are yes you all yes. day. Girl, that's good. That's good. But yeah. mama pull the coattails a little yeah. bit. This village of mine is not yay saying people, mm. even the newcomers. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what I and I'm proud of that. Um, because like you said, you get a whole bunch of yay saying people, you'll be in trouble and yes. won't even know that you're in trouble because they saying yes to the damage. You exactly. Know? So, um, yes, I do run it by them. And my mom and aunts are so proud of me. And I'm, that that does my heart well to be able to continue something that they've started. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's legacy, but does it put pressure? Not even just that, because you're also a PK, yes. preacher's kid, for people yes. who don't know, <laughs> and that's already pressure on you. Did, did you feel that when you were first getting in the industry? Because this is your, what, seventh album? It is. Golly. I know. Girl. I'm, I get shocked when people say it. <laughs> um, yes, good and health, good pressure, mm -hmm. though. And um, I say all the time, when you think about a diamond, the diamond has to go through cuts and pressure for it to, because otherwise when you just pick it up at its raw form, it's just a rock. Right. But we see the value once it's gone through a process. And so I call the pressure a, a, a way of refinement or refining. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been good for me. Yes, I felt it in the beginning, though, because they wanted me to sing. I won't say they wanted to. It was probably just my internal thoughts. Mm -hmm. I probably, f I know, I felt like I had to deliver, like, mama and auntie and them. And I'm like, they sing, they're monsters. Right. when it comes to singing. Um, when we did the movie, I had to try and sing soprano notes that my mother was singing, and I literally would get lightheaded in the studio. So that was in my 30s. Wow. Yeah. So I, I definitely felt the pressure, but it was good pressure because after that movie, now on this project, you hear that my range has stretched. Nice. So when I play the music to just other people besides mom, people will say, you sound just like your mom. You know, so it definitely is. And I'm proud of that because she can mm -hmm. sing. Girl, your mama can blow. Okay. Your mama's like the textbook for so many people. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yeah. So, yes, it, it, it was pressure. Um, but it was, I would say it's pressure that I put on myself more than it was people that, you know, that put the pressure on me. All right, so talk to us about... Uh, your your personal because we have seen that you you got married. I just saw you repost a clip. <laughs> I told you I was talking to you on your Instagram. I'm all on the Instagram. You had the picture. Oh baby, this is the sweetest day. I was marrying you and all the stuff. But what's married life been like during this mm. whole process coming out of the pandemic and moving into your new you know your new swing of things? Yeah, it's beautiful. Marriage is suburban and ghetto. Girl, say say See, it for the people in the back. Baby, let me tell Girl, the truth. okay, listen. So, okay, I think I'm in the ghetto right now. Me and my hubby Lish. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a mixture of both, but I was just on the plane. It's only two years for my husband and I, yeah. and I've heard you know some that have been in the game in the marriage game for years. Mm -hmm. They say usually the first few years is gonna be you know it's gonna show you some stuff about yourself, mm -hmm. and you see that I I got my mom used to say you have the gift of gab, so I have to learn to hush. Um, I've learned the difference between being aggressive and assertive. Right. Um, so I'm learning so much. But the beautiful thing that I'm learning is, is that love is not just a fantasy or fairy tales and pixie dust. It really is an action word. If, if I say I love you, then I, I'm coming home even when I don't want to. If I say I love you, then I'm learning your love language and not necessarily my love language. It's commitment. Um, so it's been really amazing. And shout out to my husband, Jordan Kelly. He's a saved man. And that's what makes all the difference. Because I've dated the other kind. Yeah, but it's a difference when a man has you know this conviction and he mm -hmm. loves the Lord. Mm -hmm. It just it makes it easier. So I have more suburban days than I have ghetto <laughs> days. But that's a great thing. <laughs> yes, like I said, I'm, I'm out here. I need to come back to suburbia. Yes. just a few minutes. <laughs> but meanwhile, though, let me tell you, just hearing you, you, you're a gifted, right? Thank you. And you said about the action and love, but we see your action in your gift and your ministry, you. even within your um, your outreach and Bible study and yes. all of that. I just think Thank it's beautiful. You. Thank you so that you're much. following through with that. How has that extended now to your sister foundation? Ah, um, sister is really special to me. I know what advisors were to me. I always say that the village is not just for the child, it's for the adult too. Mm -hmm. Even when you get 40, 50, 60, 70, I still to this day see my parents call family, friends, loved one to give them counsel. The Bible says in the multitude of counsel, their safety. Mm -hmm. I think when we're on a journey to um, salvation, a journey of bettering ourselves or whatever it is, you have to have communities to, to support that. The enemy uses a moment of isolation to his advantage because 
because you only have yourself to weigh up against. But the Bible says iron sharpens iron. Yes. And so that is why I wanted to build this uh, sister, or this is like, it's a, a women's ministry. And I wanted to build that. And I've met some amazing young women through this ministry. Um, and we've built sisterhood. And that's all it is. It, and it's not limited to just 20s or teens. It's all women. So now the young lady who may did not have the relationship with her mom right. is finding this 50-year-old woman who now can pour into her. I love so that it. was the vision behind it. I love it. Thank you. All right. So on the show, we have something called Hustler's Tips. And I know okay. you're getting your hustle on, not just on the on the music side and, and all that, but you have a, a business as well, right? Yes. Yes. Talk 1160. to us about 1160. Yes. Yes. 1160. You know, I've learned that entrepreneurship, people can talk about it and make it look really beautiful and glamorous. Girl, those but, Instagram posts will reel you in. Okay. Right. And it can stress you out. Girl. So it, you have days where you up and down and it can still look beautiful on social media, but on the other side, it can look like the deep valley, you know? Well, give us a tip. One thing that you've learned since being an entrepreneur and launching 1160. A tip that I've learned is to not chew off of more than you can handle. Mm. Be okay with taking your time. Don't Theodore Roosevelt, he said, comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah. And if you keep comparing yourself, then you'll find yourself trying to have a grasp that they have instead of building your own. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. She got all these little quotes and nuggets. I'm ah. like, okay, I gotta set my quote game up. This is amazing. <laughs> no, you. Kiara, um, I, I love your spirit. I love your energy. You. And I, I wanna know more about what your plans are. Cause we've seen you do your thing. Like you said, you played your mom. Yeah. In the movie yeah what are we doing are we getting more acting going we well, got some more screen time or even a reality show because i saw you driving down the highway see i told you i've been i've been following you, you have, on youtube you. driving and talking and all this stuff so yeah i'm nervous about the reality how show. you already do it i know but i think it was more of a familial uh effort Got it. So we had a little creative control there. I remember, yeah. Yeah, so, and that was beautiful. So it wasn't just you. It wasn't just Kiera. Mm -hmm. uh, that, 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 that makes me nervous. But you're on the screen I cooking. Know. We're already seeing inside of your life already. Just expanding. Reality shows. Because you know the truth of the matter is people want drama. That, if now you, that is true. If you ain't giving enough drama, and my <laughs> fighting years are long. I'm not about to fight with nobody. I'm, first of all, I'm too big. And so because if I run out of breath, then I'm going to try to do something to really lay somebody I'm out. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, not reality show, but maybe some movies. The book is coming out. Oh, yes, out. that's right. Oh, yes. my gosh. What is it? The, the, the vibes, vibes you feel. feel. Yes. yes. And I'm really excited about that. I've grown. And that's May 9th. Yes, okay. May 9th. And um, that's one thing that's coming out. And then you will have some films that, I, that actually is on my schedule to be working on very soon. Now, what is the book about? The vibes you feel is about how the Holy Spirit reveals to you certain things about yourself and relationships. Mm. And um, you know how sometimes we'll say, um, I felt a little vibe. You know, I felt something. Absolutely. And we'll kind of brush it off or we'll call it female intuition. But a lot of times that's the Holy Spirit that's guiding you and we'll water it down and say, oh, it's just, no, you felt what you, if Talk somebody told it. you a joke or said a joke about you and they, they just tried to make it as if it was a joke, but they meant what they said. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just little things like that. I could go on and on and on. But um, one thing that I've learned in this recent season of my life is that everybody is not toxic. It was more so me misplacing relationships. Wow, so that's a whole that. word right yeah, there. Yes, ma'am. Everybody is not toxic. Mm -hmm. It's just you misplacing the relationship. Yes. That is deep. Yeah. Well, okay, we got to do some you. research on that one. Okay, so <laughs> the, the, Mar the March 3rd, that's yes. when we're dropping the March album. 3rd, yes. And then May 9th, we have the book. Yes. And, okay. Just for me, because I'm a, I'm a fan girl of both you and Tasha. Yes, I love. Will you there know. ever be a whole album collab? I mean, I'm just wondering and tossing it on out there. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, y'all have already done several songs. Let I me know. tell you, Spirit, um, yeah. Hubby Lish is up here working out. Right, he he gets in his workouts. Right, yeah. he does his thing in the gym and all this stuff in the, in our attic gym or whatever. Girl, I woke up one morning and the song was blasting. Wow. For this brother to be pumping iron yes. to your song, I, I mean, it was really ministering. Yes. So you guys have something. I'm just saying, just letting you know. Yes. We, it, we, we've talked about it a plethora of times. Uh -huh. uh, we've even talked about a tour. So I don't think Tasha... I'm down for either or. Yeah, okay? I don't think me and Tasha are going to break up. That's my sister. Yeah. So, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> thank well, you. Kiara Sheard Kelly. Yes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank and any you. final words to the to the audience? Well, thank you again for the opportunity. I love y'all. Please, please support me and tell me what you think about the new music and the new book.
Amen, amen. Oh, wait, in the new single. Yes, the new single, Miracles. Mickey. Miracles, oh, it's a few of them. Miracles with Pastor Mike Jr. And then um, Praise Through. Mm -hmm. Some people call it My Something Has to Break Part 2. And then the other one, Making a Way with Adia Andrews. I love it. Thank you. Can't wait. All yours you. coming out March 3rd. Hey, this is the Deja Vu Show on WBLS. Thank you, Kiara. Thank you.